if a non-specialized physician is not aware and because the onset of the disease is slow, yes, these patients may go from place to place until getting the right diagnosis. In other cases, if they go to a specialist, a specialist in this disease can diagnose these patients in minutes because they see these patients every single day. But usually the best person to diagnose a patient with CMT1A is another patient with CMT1A, especially because it's not uncommon to have more than one person running with the disease within a family. So the classic path as you're describing, yes, patients may take long time to be properly diagnosed. That's why we also believe that this disease is underdiagnosed. And then specialists may do it very, really at first glance. But again, as I'm saying, since the number of patients is not that limited, patients also do a good job helping other patients because the patients advocacy groups that usually support this patient population are quite active and quite, quite useful for them. So they do a fantastic job in general.